Hey, what's going on, everybody? So today I'm gonna be talking about Rock and Balboa. This is the sixth rock and movie, and uh, it starts with Mr. Stallone, Rock and Balboa, and it's very underrated. Um, all right, I'm gonna stop doing that voice. I probably sound uh, god awful. I can't wait to listen to that when I'm uh, putting the video together. Anyways, <laughs> so um, in my opinion, let me think. Hold on a minute. Uh, second, maybe third. Second or third best in the entire series. Now, I didn't watch Creed, so um, I'm not counting Creed, but I'm talking about the first six Rocky movies. Uh, this movie is incredibly underrated. I don't know why no one ever, ever talks about this movie. Because, um, it's just, it's amazing. Like I said, it's like second or third best. The um, least best would be Rocky V, that's for sure. And then Rocky One is the best for sure. Rocky Two is really good. I don't I don't like know how to rank all of them. Um, Rocky Four is just it's cheesy, but it's like you know, it's great. It's great to watch. It's fun. Um, Rocky Three is also you know, I love Rocky Three. I love all the Rocky movies except Five. <laughs> five is like the only one that's just like what happened? Why'd you do that? What a mess up. And I'm sure I'm going to love Creed when I see it. Eventually. But, um... Yeah, this movie is just... I don't know. Like, it's it's really... It's it's awesome. It's one of the few instances, like, if you saw... Of course, everyone's seen Indiana Jones 4, which is just a failure. Um... It's one of those things where an actor comes back so many years later and he's so old, but he goes back to his iconic role. Kind of like how, well, Star Wars did this right recently with, you know, uh, the old cast members coming back. Especially Harrison Ford as Han Solo to talk about Indiana Jones, you know. But but he didn't do that same mistake again. He actually was Han Solo, you know. That would be kind of like this, where Rocky came, or Sylvester Stallone came back and he was actually Rocky. He was great in this, and he directed this, and he actually took all the hits in the fight at the end of the movie. Which is crazy to think about, because he was like 60-something years old, <laughs> taking fights from a, or I'm sorry, taking hits from a current fighter who was a, I think he was champion at the time too. Um, but this is one of those movies where an actor comes back to like an iconic role so many years later, and this actually worked, unlike Indiana Jones 4, which was, you know, a mess. And then also like uh, Star Wars recently actually did it right like this. And I wonder how Jeff Goldblum's going to do coming back in uh, the Independence Day sequel. We'll see how that goes. Anyways, um, this is underrated because no one ever... No, I never hear anybody talking about this. Like, they never... You know what I mean? I think it's more recently. Maybe when it came out, it was such a big deal. Because, like, I do remember when this was coming out. But I wasn't, like, a Rocky guy yet. Like, I never saw the movies. Like, I saw, like, maybe one. Maybe... Well, I know I saw the first one. But uh, when this came out in, like, 2006, I think it was, yeah. Like, I hadn't seen, I wasn't, like, a Rocky fan, so I didn't, like, you know, go to see it or anything like that. But nowadays, like, I never hear anything about it. And if you ask me, I don't know, I, call me crazy, but I think Stallone should have been nominated for an Oscar or something. Just the fact that he did all this, uh, what was it? Uh, let me think the years that came out. Nine, was nine, Rocky V was 1990, I want to say? Let me think. 1976, 79, because they came out like every three years. 76, 79, 82, 85 was Rocky IV. And then like for some reason Rocky V came out five years later and ruined the whole three-year thing. So 1990, and then this is 2006, so that's 16 years later. And he comes back, and he directs the movie, obviously acts in it, and I think he wrote it. Let me check for you real quick, real quick, because uh, I know he wrote the first movie. Yeah, written and directed by Sylvester Stallone. He directed all the Rocky movies except for Rocky V and Rocky One. Which, by the way, Rocky V was directed by John Avildsen, or John G. Avildsen, I guess you should say. And who he directed the first Rocky movie. How does he direct the first Rocky movie, which won Best Picture, and then go to Rocky V, which is like the polar opposite? I don't understand. Anyways, but Stallone directed all the other ones, and true to form... He hadn't directed a Rocky movie since Rocky IV, right? And that's 21 years later. And he's still, you know, still at it. You know, he made a knockout movie. And one of the few things from this movie that still, like, I hear about, actually, is that quote where he talks about 
no matter how hard you get hit, you keep moving forward, you know that speech. If you've seen this movie, you know what I'm talking about. Even if you haven't seen the movie, you've probably heard that, you know. That's one of the few things from this movie that people still say, I guess, because I heard it recently, actually. Um, but yeah, like I said, in this in this movie, you know, uh, what was his name? Mason Tarver, right? Or Mason Dixon, there you go. Antonio Tarver's the fighter's name. I kind of, like, mixed that up. Anyways, he's a real-life fighter, and he took, Sylvester Stallone took all the hits from him. It was a real, legitimate, I, I, well, not a legitimate boxing match, but it might as well have been. He was taking actual hits from him for the movie, you know, to make it seem more real. And, uh, yeah, and at one point, I heard from trivia, Sylvester Stallone got knocked, actually got knocked out by him. So, that's crazy. Um... You know, it's, it's it's art, you know, you make it, the more realer it is, or is realer a word? I don't know. The more real it is, there you go, the, you know, the better it is. The more, you know, the more you can, I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so yeah, we got Polly back in there again. Um, we got Rocky's son in there. You know, the drama in this movie is great. It's just, it's just a great movie. I mean, I love the way it looks, too. It's got that, like, gritty look to it, you know what I mean? And, it, yeah, it's, it's, it's up there. Like, it's better, I would say it's better than Rocky 4 and 5. Rocky 2 and 3, uh, I would say it's better than maybe Rocky 3. I would say it's Rocky, Rocky 2, and then this is the top 3. Maybe. I don't know, this might be better than Rocky 2. Um, I would say it's definitely a lot more watchable than most of the Rocky movies also. This movie's easy to watch, too. Um, so, yeah, I mean, if you haven't seen this, um, I mean, I'm sure you've seen it. You're watching this video. Uh, or maybe you haven't. I don't know. But if you've seen it and you just, you know, thought it was, like, a little average or whatever, just you know, maybe check it out again. Especially if you've seen Creed recently, too. Just maybe revisit the whole series. I think I'm going to do that. Before I watch Creed... When, when the movie comes out in Blu-ray, before I buy it, I think I'm going to, like, have a Rocky Marathon. And this will be perfect to end it with before I watch Creed. So, yeah. Rocky Balboa, give it another chance, I guess. If you didn't like it or something. Um, talk about it more. I don't know. Anyways, uh, so next I'm going to be doing The Hangover Part 2. <laughs> People are going to be like, what? Uh, yes, I'm serious about this. Alright, so... I will be back with that. Thank you for watching.